Hey YouTube, um, I am here by request to show this video by X Void Lily, who did this really awesome video. And I'm pretty sure she used Sony Vegas for a ton of the effects, but there's one effect that's just really cool, and I just have to show you how you could probably do something similar. So, here we go. Just that small clip. It's like, oh, what is going on? It's pretty much uh, just parent tracking. So um, I will try to explain to you what it is and how you could replicate something in it. So here's Sony Vegas. I have a video open. And first thing you need to do is make a ton of tracks. So I'm going to hold Control Shift Q. Or not hold, but click it. So Control Shift Q, Control Shift Q, blah, blah, blah. And you can have like maybe three tracks or something. Depends on all the things that you have. So what I'm going to do is stick in a gear and a pattern or something. Okay. So what we have here is just two things right here. And what you want to do is on tracks two and three, see this composite child button? Just click that on two and three, and they become the parent of number one. What's f what you should notice is when you click that, these options appear on the first track. So what this what these are is the parent motion. It's different from the track one. Because in the track when you move it, it only moves what is in that layer. But if you go parent motion, it will move all of these layers. So when you're moving it, as you can tell it the gears picture is actually behind the green one. It's not the best example. But that's pretty much what this does and that that does. So pretty much these will affect all of these layers. So you can take advantage of it because when you rotate this, it rotates all the layers, all the child stuff on here. So to start with, let's move these down and set this in motion. So first I clicked on the parent track and just moving it. I guess you could do the pan thing too, but and then just make it really big and move it around. But since I like to think of it as we're moving the actual track, so uh, that's how that kind of makes sense for me. Um, you can even stick a video on top of it too. So you can stick the video here only you probably want a new layer so I just create a new track stick it down there and think of it as moving it another cool effect you can do with the multiple layers on top of each other sorry I'm trying to make this smaller uh, not too small okay well, that should be good enough and you can add a 2d shadow so I'll click it and you'll notice it got a little bit darker underneath there's all these things you can change with it you can even move it around um, make it more directly underneath or move it to the side farther away so uh, that's something for another video probably I'm just talking about the parent child relationship so um, one thing I want to do is right now is get rid of the whites right here just a little thing so um, this effect should come with Sony Vegas. Should be a chroma key. Here. Basically, you can pick a color and tell it to get rid of all that color. So I'm telling it to get rid of white and raise the low stress threshold, and that should be good. So now, now that we have this picture, let's go over to the parent motion. So we we want to move all three of these at the same time. So set the first keyframe here and tell it to go probably over here make it a little bit bigger okay so now let's go ahead a little bit and rotate yeah it's about 180 so 
So here's the first keyframe, and here's the second keyframe. Did I do it in different order? I think I did do it in different order. Yeah, I did. So you can time it however you want. And but here's the final effect. Ta-da! So basically what we did was we have one big track that we're moving around and we just have these minor tracks below it. And the big track is moving the little tracks with it. And that's probably it's up to your creativity to what you want to do with it. Um, you can even make it bigger as it's coming. So then it will look something like this. Yep, so that's about it. Have fun.